we'll go to taxes uh, country name is united states and uh, tax regime code we have already created the tax regime code usd what did i say usd usd regime okay and then you need to start uh, uh, you need to click on create button okay because we, uh, if, if you're doing for the first time but in this case as i had already created i'll click on go so <laughs> pick up the first one which i had already created so here i'm actually creating something called tax codes so i mean it's not exactly tax code like in 11 we used to call it as a tax codes and in uh, r12 this is called as a kind of a tax classification code if you go to your uh, uh, screens your uh, data entry screens you'll be able to see a field for tax classification code it is equivalent to something called tax codes in 11i so what exactly is the tax code so whether it's a say if it's a for vat then you need to use a proper naming convention here the naming convention is us vat recoverable tax and the tax type is vat if it's a gst us gst recoverable tax gst us uh, gst non-recoverable tax us sales tax and you need to appropriately select the tax type if it's a say excise then you select something called select say us excise and then tax type as excise something like that so it's a different kind of taxes whatever is charged you are actually creating them as a kind of a tax code here go back to our screenshots So when you are actually creating this is how the screen looks like okay so usd regime configuration owner as i said earlier global configuration owner okay tax source is defaulted creating we are creating a new tax so we need not do anything enter your tax tax name so this is basically kind of an internal code so just use the same thing us vat tax us vat recoverable tax and what is the tax type it is a kind of a vat tax okay select vat effective start date is first January 1951 and the geography geography type geography type is nothing but a, a level at which you want to charge this particular tax whether you want to charge this at a kind of a country level or a state level or a city level or a county level so in this case so i uh, in the entire uh, this configuration i have taken a simple example of charging 10 percent tax at a country level so if you take you as an example it may not be exact uh, fit my us but uh, as uh, I think you people are actually spread across the world. So I thought like I'll just take a simple example. But if you strictly speak from a US perspective, in the US we have got a stack structure of uh, country, uh, state, county, city. So when I say state, county, city, generally uh, the, the tax will be something like, um, let's go back to the running notes. State, uh, city sorry state county city so it could be something like at a state level the, uh, the, ta the tax percentage is say three percent at a county level it's say two percent and at a city level it is one percent so totally it will be say six percent so that is if i i mean so i live in a state called maryland i live in a county called harvard i live in a city called ellicott city so for me now now whatever i am purchasing goods i am paying a gst of six percent it is because of three percent here two percent here and one percent here six percent so if there is in the same state if there is a, a montag mary that's a there is a, another uh, county here okay and uh, under uh, montag mary there is another city some xyz okay the same state different county it could be something like this so the people who live in that particular city which falls under a different county maybe will be paying a rate of say seven percent so this is what is the tax structure generally in you uh, us state county city okay so in my current example what i have taken is like just at a country level the entire country level the tax of say ten percent which is more or less similar in, in India. In India, we do not have the state, county, city structure. Okay, we just got one particular rate, whether you whether you call it as a GST or whether you call it as a VAT. Okay, in general, the rate is say 10%, 12%, 15%, or 28%. Okay, 
okay so that's what is the geography type so at what level you want to charge this particular tax so i just selected country and i have selected the geography type as country then what is that particular country it is asking you need to select the united states when going back to the screenshots it's the same thing okay and then again these things are already defaulted whatever you have entered at the uh, tax regime are defaulted here tax currency minimal uh, minimum accountable unit recoverable row, rounding rule tax precision and exchange rate if it's a foreign currency okay all these things are actually defaulted from your uh, tax regime again controls and defaults you can see the same thing allow uh, couple of things are actually defaulted from the previous screens and uh, there are some extra uh, options here allow override and entry of inclusive taxes we have seen that it is defaulted from tax regime allow override for calculated tax lines so if the system has calculated a tax but still if you want to override that with your own amount then you need to check this particular checkbox allow entry of manual tax line so when you say allow entry of manual tax line system has not created any tax line but if you want to create your own tax line then you need to check this particular checkbox so the difference between these two is first one is system created some rate and some percentage but you want to override that it all depends on in this case i purposefully check this particular checkbox but it, it all depends on your controls within your organization if you think that oh no 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 i should not allow a user to override what system has calculated and then do not check this particular checkbox okay so i purposefully check this particular checkbox so that i'll show you how to override whatever system has generated similarly allow entry of manual tax line okay whether system has generated in any tax line or not you want to add one more tax line so if you check this particular checkbox system will allow that particular manual tax line to be added and a uh, couple of other things is like uh, allow tax exemptions exceptions allow tax recovery okay all these things are again defaulted from the your tax regime and a couple of other things are actually pretty uh, what do you call uh, default values okay after you enter these details go back to the screen click on up okay not apply so i think uh, click on uh, yeah sorry click on apply and there is one important thing you need to click on this apply but there is one important thing called make tax available for transaction you cannot check this particular checkbox at this stage okay you need to check that particular checkbox only after the entire regime to rate tax flow is completed make tax available checkbox should be checked after the completion of the whole regime to rate configuration for the particular regime so i think even this particular tool tip also says the same thing this tax is available for transaction only after eb tax validates the tax setup okay so you need to check this particular checkbox okay only i mean even though this but i mean in this particular case i check this particular checkbox after completing of the entire configuration but you should make a note of that in your br under that's what even i mentioned in my br under that that particular checkbox should be checked only once the entire configuration is completed so even in this testing instance what i did is i did not check that particular checkbox i had completed the entire configuration okay and then started doing and entering the transactions when i start doing entering a transactions system is not telling me to or like that system is not calculating any tax the reason being the name itself says make tax available for transaction this, this checkbox is not checked then again i came back to the screen i checked this particular checkbox and then system started calculating tax i know like it's a weird like uh, it is not it is not asking us to check this particular checkbox at this stage but we need to check after the entire configuration is completed yeah you you, you may say that yeah i may forget to check that particular checkbox but if you forget to check this checkbox that is what is the implications system will not calculate any tax so you need to come back to this particular screen and again check that particular checkbox okay next thing is tax status so what i did is similarly i had created uh, two tax codes one is a uh, uh, 10% tax code i mean when i said 10% tax code uh, i did not mention any rate here this will be used for my 10% tax uh, code so the rate will be entered in the next screen again is this particular tax code okay so i had created one tax code which will be used for 10% us vat recoverable tax as the tax code and in the next screen i'll assign a 10% rate for this particular tax code and i had created one more tax code of exempt tax code exempt tax code so for this particular exempt tax code it's uh, more or less pretty straightforward again the same options you need to go back to this particular tax configuration taxes create so this is the first tax code okay and 
this is the second tax code okay with the naming convention of exempt us again in the next screen i will assign a rate of zero percent for this particular exempt tax code okay uh, rate is somewhere uh, down the line i think uh, that will be somewhere here okay but now we need to proceed with the tax regime is completed tax is completed and then the you know, next one is tax status okay tax status is basically you are saying whether the particular tax is a standard tax or a exempt tax and for every what you call uh, tab when you go to the particular tab here there is a clear uh, definition of what we are doing and when you click on learn more, learn more ideally it should take you to the proper uh, documentation i mean it is not going in this uh, testing instance but it will take you to the proper documentation which explains more in further about that particular concept okay tax status is the next one and that clearly documented everything in this particular br and it is very useful for you if you if you want to start up with a fresh tax structure in uh, uh, as part of your practice tax configuration tax status create so tax configuration tax status you can straight away click on create but in this case i had already created something so i'll try to query that so what is my country name united states <coughs> and what is my regime ust click on go okay the first one us VAT recoverable stat uh, recoverable status so click on update i'll show you the screenshots so first like uh, you need to click on create when you click on create this is how the screen looks like okay it is the same screen which i'm showing here okay enter your regime uh, regime code configuration owner global configuration owner tax is the tax whatever you have created under this particular setup okay for that particular tax you are specifying whether it's a, actually a standard tax or a exam tax so tax status code enter it as uh, standard and then uh, the other things again is defaulted from your regime allow tax exemptions exceptions allow tax rate override if you want you can uncheck this or you can leave it as is effect to start it and uh, I checked the checkbox of set as default tax status. So when I check this particular checkbox, automatically whenever you are creating a transaction, this particular tax code will be, or this particular tax, this is US VAT recoverable tax will be defaulted in your transaction screen. If you want to default that, check this particular checkbox. Otherwise, you can select it from the drop down. Okay. Similarly, you need to create a tax status of exempt for the exempt tax code. For the exempt also, you need to create uh, one more uh, tax status. 